All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my wire repairs. So you get your both wires that you're gonna solder together. Get yourself a crimping tool that comes with these so that you're able to take off the connectors or the wires. Okay. And after that you make you want to make sure you get like a good chunk. Okay, if you can. Just makes it easier. After that, twist. Okay, so far easy, right? And then you're gonna get your your solder seal. Make sure you get the right size. We'll be using this one and then get yourself a heat shrink. That's what I'm gonna use. And whatever color torch. These are really nice. Uh, four of these different colors. There's a green one for like 10 bucks, man. Really cheap and they're really good. So, what you want to do, add this before you put them together. I shake too much. And then after you're done twisting these then you want to twist these together so make sure you grab it like in the middle make like an X and then just twist away like so and then do the same for the other side and there you go so now they're together but we're gonna make it much nicer than this so right here, see that? That's what's gonna melt and join these two wires together. Now you don't wanna heat it up too much, otherwise it'll start burning the wire. So you just wanna work around it. And then you'll see it melt. There you go, as you can see it. See that? So all that metal, literally all that soldering joined the wires together and then after that what you want to do is get your heat shrink instead of using electrical tape I use heat shrink just makes it look more nicer and then heat it up again quick and fast not too much on one spot work around it Bam, just like that. That's how I do my. See if here's another one. So that's how you, you know, in my opinion, do a properly wire, a proper wire repair. So get yourself one of these kits, man. Really cheap. These really cheap as well. And the heat shrink. And this, of course, I'll always put all the tools that I've used under the description. And, uh, yeah, you have yourself a good one. And that's how you do a wire repair the correct way. Okay. That's how it came out. This one came out a little better, as you can see. So, these are nice man